Hey guys, Stefan Fischer here from All of Road. A friend of mine uh, purchased this Outback solar panel, which is supposedly 150 watt uh, a few weeks ago. And on our recent camping trip, we realized that it is pretty much half the size of my 150 watt Red Arc panel. So after the trip, we decided uh, to do a little test and have them side by side run them both through the same Victron solar regulator and see what the actual output of the panels is. Because personally, when I saw that panel, uh, to me it looked more like an 80 watt panel than a 150 watt panel. So that is my inline high precision watt meter. I haven't used that for a while. So we put that in here. And I guess start with your panel. So it yeah. is quite quite nicely made, but the size difference is quite obvious. All right, so 38 watts at the moment. Yeah, I see 40 watts here. Mm -hmm. 39. It seems about right. Yeah, and 2.4 amp. Okay, that's not crazy. What does your well, it's so the Victron app. at the panel it says it's getting 16 volts, 2.2 amps, and it's and obviously the output is varying. I mean, as you can see here, it's definitely a much bigger panel. Gonna swap that over. So we've got Again. 37. So yeah, between 39 and 40 watt and 2.32 amps. Okay. Now the red arc, yeah, we're getting around five amps, four point, yeah, it's, but we're getting eighty one watt between. Yep, and between. that matches up with what I'm seeing in in the um, Victron app as well. Yeah, so eighty one, eighty five, and we're getting yeah four point seven, four point eight amps around that. How much is what I'm seeing? So that's nearly double, huh? Nearly double. See, so yeah, there is quite a price difference, but both of these panels are advertised as being 150 watts. So they should be the same output. Correct. In the same conditions. Yeah. So initially the panel was advertised as a 150 watt uh, panel. When I had a look today, the rating was decreased from 150 watt to 120 watt. The size of the panel and the figures we have seen does not correlate with the advertised wattage of that panel. And with, uh, with the same MPPT and the price difference doesn't really matter if you sell something which doesn't seem to have the specs it's supposed to have. Yeah. It's interesting that the Red Arc panel actually says the capacity on there but there's no marking whatsoever on the Max Ray panel that says what the output is. Mm. Yeah. Obviously we have winter now, so I don't think we will see here the 150 watt. Um, the panels are also lying flat on the ground. The sun is not right on top of us. To get that maximum peak output, you pretty much need 100% ideal conditions, yep. which we don't have. But it doesn't really matter to show the difference. And I think if this was advertised as an 80 watt panel, it's really quite a nice deal. It's, it's well made. Um, all the connections are quite nice. It's just the output yeah. doesn't quite match what they're advertising. You have contacted them, I would assume? I have, and they've asked me to send it back so that they can do some testing on it. Mm. So after we did our test with the panel, Mark returned the panel to Outbacks, which I believe they are also in Sydney. However, he is now waiting for nearly two weeks, I think, uh, for them to have sun. I mean, we are in Sydney as well. We had actually quite a few sunny days. Um, but uh, Outback supposedly could not test the panel yet because they had no sun. Personally, as I said before, I reckon it just can't be a 150 watt panel uh, if you look at the size of the panel. So, yeah, so far he hasn't heard back yet. Uh, he's calling them every two days and uh, so far they didn't have a chance to test it. Mark left a three-star review on the website. Um, noting that the quality of the, of the panel uh, seems to be quite good, but the actual output is far below what they advertised. 
So far that review hasn't been published. It's still uh, sitting somewhere in the back end. So we will be keen to see whether that actually will come to light or whether they curate their um, reviews and only have five star reviews on there. We will see what the outcome uh, is. I saw that they also sell super cheap Life PO4 batteries. $500 for 100 amp hour battery and if you've seen my Life PO4 uh, video I'm super super skeptical that it can be a decent 100 amp hour battery just for the components and parts cost for a battery like that. Seeing that they seem to be not very accurate in regards to their specifications I would hold my breath uh, for any of that Life PO4 batteries but look Maybe someone has bought them and actually tested them. I would be interested to hear. Thanks a lot for watching and uh, don't forget to like, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Catch you later.